One, two, three, go. And just like that, with a few snips, these small homes are officially ready for occupancy. The two new buildings will offer a safe place for women in transition at the Red Cedar Shelter. They need time to recover from the trauma and to, you know, to find, uh, you know, suitable housing for their, their families. And of course, that's quite a challenge now in this day and age because a lot of people that are on limited incomes are priced out of the housing market because there's such a shortage of housing. It's, it's a chronic problem in every community. It's all across Canada. But it's profoundly uh, uh, an issue in First Nations communities. But another important reason to celebrate the opening is these homes were built by women. The six-month Heels to Work Boots project provided five women with the carpentry skills needed to complete every stage of building from the ground up. It's something that Tammy McGuire couldn't be more proud of. It's amazing, amazing feeling that um, to know that I'm giving back to my community that somebody else is going to enjoy this. It's inspired Kirsten Sparks to look at a career in plumbing. For here, I guess I would apply for uh, to companies and apply for an apprenticeship um, and do my four or five years of apprenticeship in plumbing, and then I would become a journey person. According to the project manager, Chris Miracle, it was a great opportunity for all involved. He's already proposed a new project. We're hoping that uh, our chief and council will approve of the first phase of a, the very first First Nation tiny house development, which will be net zero standards. Uh, we have a responsibility as First Nations people to you know, protect the environment. So if you built a net zero, there's not much more you can do from the housing standpoint to uh, reduce the energy consumption uh, by having you know, that many more ladies on site, uh, I don't see any reason why in a couple of years we won't have one of these ladies start their own general contracting business. You know. McGuire says she's hopeful too. I would like to stay with the program and help with the tiny homes as long as they are willing to. Have. According to Tyandonega's chief, Don Miracle, plans to expand the project and build more tiny homes is currently under discussion. Annette Francis, APTN National News, Tyandonega.